So this is some gameplay footage of the Revenant Hunter build I'm going to show you guys today. And this is in Legendary Witch Queen campaign. As you can see with Aegir Scepter we are just freezing targets. This build is very strong Guardian so what I like to do is just get the, your red bars frozen and once you defeat them they create a shatter burst and it will freeze nearby targets. And it's also very good against your little tankier orange bars and even your mini bosses. So with our Auto Rifle Choice Sweet Sorrow, we're able to chair through shields no problem. And with our exotic that we're using today, Mask of Bacchus, it actually increases our arc damage weapons potential after you use your light shift, which is your increased dodge from Mask of Bacchus. So if you guys stick around, I'm going to show you the full loadout of the build and our mod suites that we use, and I hope you guys really enjoy this one. Hey Guardians, welcome back to the channel, and today I want to show you my Revenant Hunter build. Let's get right into it. So with the Revenant Hunter, we are running the super Silence and Squall. Silence and Squall is an okay super. I use it more for uh, crowd control. But with our exotic weapon of choice that we're using today, we can actually turn our super into a DPS machine. Our abilities are Marksman Dodge, Triple Jump, Withering Blade, and Dustville Grenades. Aspects we're using is Grim Harvest, which Grim Harvest is when you're defeating slowed or frozen combatants that creates a stasis shard. And when you pick these shards up, it increases our melee energy. And then Touch of Winter. Touch of Winter increases your uh, grenade functionality. So in our case with the dust field grenades. What it does, it increases our slow field size and creates small stasis crystals on impact. Next of Fragments. First Fragment of Choice is going to be the Whisper of Chains which Whisper Change is while you're near frozen targets or friendly stasis crystals it will you will take reduced damage. This aids in our survivability and it gives us a nice 10 to recovery. Next is Whisper of Shards which shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts our grenade recharge rate and during that time if you shatter additional crystals it increases the duration of the effect. It also gives us a nice 10 to resilience Whisper of Durance is slow from your abilities last longer. From For those abilities that linger, the duration will also increase. So all this is saying is your slow abilities and slow and your frozen enemies, it just lasts longer. Gives us a nice 10 to strength. Whisper of Refraction is defeating slow to frozen targets grants you class ability energy. And lastly is Whisper of Rhyme. Whisper of Rhyme is when you collect your stasis uh, crystal your stasis shards they grant you a small amount of overshield the overshield lasts for about 10 seconds but during that time if you pick up more stasis shards you will refresh the timer of your overshield and increase your overshield so our weapon of choice in this build is going to be Agar Scepter Agar Scepter is the exotic trace rifle that is stasis this thing is just an amazing all around great utility tool to use in this build and like I said earlier this is, this is the weapon that allows us to use our super in my opinion more effectively in a DPS kind of way and to do that is through the catalyst for Agar Scepter. What the catalyst does for us is it allows Agar Scepter to switch into an alternate firing mode so to do this you just hold down the reload button or whatever you're whatever you have that button mapped to, if you're on console or PC, whatever your reload button is, hold that down. Agar Scepter will switch to its alternate firing mode and it will have an increased damage output. So what this does is while you're doing this increased damage output, Agar Scepter is getting constantly reloaded from what you have in reserves. So it will keep going until you run out or, when, or until your super runs out. But we have mods in place that help us to constantly keep feeding Egg Receptor so we can keep up that increased DPS damage. Now weapons are of your choice of what you want to use, but I do highly recommend that these weapons have the Demolitionist perk on it, which as you all know Demolitionist is on hitting enemies or targets, it increases your grenade recharge rate. But my two weapons are ARC. You may be asking yourself, why arc? Well, the answer to that is our exotic 
armor piece of choice, which is Mask of Bakras. With Mask of Bakras, what pulls this build together is its armor perk, Light Shift, which Light Shift replaces your dodge to, it's, it's almost like you're at blink, where you blink away, or you kind of teleport away. Uh, what this does, it's great for allowing you to reposition if you're getting overwhelmed, or if you need to get up close to something, you can blink toward it. But after you blink, either retreating or advancing, what this does is increases your arc weapon damage and the damage that you deal to frozen or slowed targets. So this armor piece pulls the build together and allows us to be doing more damage to because we're constantly freezing, we're constantly dodging out of the way if you need to be and it's just a great asset to this build so we're going to get into the mod suite mods I like to run on the mask itself are going to be heavy ammo finder because you can never have too much heavy ammo a kinetic weapon siphon which rapid kinetic weapon final blows creates an orb of power and then I have a harmonic siphon which in our case, since we are on the stasis subclass, we are rapid stasis weapon final blows creates an orb of power. So anytime that Agar Scepter kills an enemy, we get orb of power. And anytime that Sweet Sorrow kills an enemy, we get orb of power. Next, in the gloves, I like to run heavy handed, which is your me your power melee final blows creates that orb of power. An impact induction causing damage with the melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown. And focusing strike class gr grants class ability energy when you cause damage with your melee. So with these, what we're doing is we're creating orbs of power for ourselves, we're reducing our grenade cooldown because we want to want to throw more dust field grenades, and we're uh, increasing our melee recharge rate with when we are dodging using light shift. In the chest piece, you can run whatever you want. You can run all resist mods, but. I like to run a stasis reserves because Agar Scepter is a ammo hungry machine a stasis reserve comes in handy to constantly be feeding it especially during the alternate fire DPS mode secondly I like to run a charged up mod I like to keep my armor charges up and the reason being is what we have in our class item but before that in the boots I like to run a double stasis weapon surge it just increases our damage of Agar Scepter and then recuperation, which when I pick up orbs of power, because I'm generating a lot of them, I'm replenishing my health each time I pick them up. Then lastly on the class item, I run a time dilation so I, my armor charges last longer. And then Reaper, after using your class ability, your next weapon final blow creates an orb of power. And then special finisher. Special finisher comes in very handy, especially if you're running low on ammo for Acre Scepter. Um, just what you do is be sure you have three armor charges and then perform a finisher on an enemy and they will drop a special ammo brick for you to pick up and feed an Agar Scepter. So with this particular build we are constantly freezing enemies, increased damage to targets that are frozen or slow with our arc weapons. We are constantly generating orbs of power to refuel our melee, our grenade, our class item, our class ability. This is an all-around great, great build. I highly recommend it, you Guardians. Please give it a try. And if I honestly feel Mask of Bacchus is a slept-on exotic, a lot of Guardians. I don't see a whole lot of people run this particular item. But by all means, please dust it off in your vaults, put it on, give this build a try. Always, Guardians. I do enjoy uh, a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and as always, Guardians, stay safe.